picture this. You turn on your computer, and there's a message from the FBI accusing you of a crime. And then it demands money. That is exactly what one man in the upstate saw earlier this month. News Force John Eby is here on the story. And John, he is certainly not alone, right? Yeah, tech experts are warning about a computer scam called ransomware. It's a virus that can cause you trouble whether you give your money to the scammers or not. James Edelman had just logged onto his computer to check some urgent emails when he was faced with this. And it had a sheet that popped up saying my computer had been locked by the FBI. The head on it was the FBI and wanted me to send $200. The message accused him of committing internet crimes and even activated his computer's webcam to give the impression that he was under surveillance. I mean, it just scared me at first because it said FBI and I didn't, you know, didn't know what was wrong. And then I realized reading through it that I hadn't done anything wrong. Hello, everybody. By special request of naked security readers, here's a quick video about ransomware. In other words, malicious software that locks you out and demands money to let you back in. Today's ransomware example is known as Citadel or Reviton or simply as Troj slash ransom. It can get onto your PC in lots of ways via an email attachment on a USB key from a poisoned website. But what matters is what happens when it triggers. It'll kill off your desktop, fill the screen with a browser window, and then lock you out of everything except for a now you've got to pay a fine page. Some variants even activate your webcam so you think you're under surveillance. It'll show you your computer's IP number. It gives you a reason for the fine, usually claiming it's got something to do with copyright infringement. It specifies an amount you can pay to avoid criminal charges. And it shows you how to pay, usually using some largely anonymous online mechanism. And you won't only see the FBI's logo. The crooks have also prepared web pages for Belgium and Canada, Finland, Greece, Sweden, the UK, and loads more. So, if this happens to you, number one, don't panic. The damage is already done, and in this particular case, you can probably recover just fine anyway. Number two, whatever you do, don't pay up. After all, the only thing you know about the guys behind the web page is that they are crooks. And number three, talk to someone you know and trust for help.